This is actually the first video in a new series of dry old presentation demonstration uh, tutorial videos that I'm going to record. Um, they are all going to be um, spontaneous. Uh, I won't have extensive scripts. Um, you can follow me, you can um, give me feedback and I will try in the next session to incorporate that. So if you want to know anything about Confluence diagramming, I'm uh, definitely going to try to do a video on that. Please come back to me. I'm gonna, um, you can reach me at msiebert at siebertmedia.net or we're going to put up a form later also. Um, let's start. In a, um, we're creating as Siebert Media a, an internet solution called Linchpin. And I've um, logged in as a German user because this German user has admin rights. I'm just going to switch to English so that um, you may be able to understand more. So I'm going to say I'm from Washington, USA. And now the navigation and everything will turn it into English. That's the linchpin personalization magic. However, we're going to go to the general configuration. And the first thing that I'm uh, going to do is, um, if you don't have Dry or installed yet, um, there's a um, section that's called Manage Add-ons. Um, and you can then search for Dry or. And I'm only doing that because I want to see whether I can pull an update from uh, the marketplace, which is actually the case. So uh, um, the tool here tells me there's, that there's an update available. Uh, I may get some um, more information. So this is gonna be free for me. I have 5.4 and I can update to this version, which I'm gonna do so that I'm gonna present you the most current version. Updates are always free if you have um, a valid license, which I have until October 19th in this instance for 10 users. Um, the UPM, a universal plugin manager, um, is the abbreviation, I think, um, will handle all this for you. And you can do this while you're um, in Confluence. You don't have to restart Confluence or anything. So that's done now. Okay, so now we have uh, the current version of Draw or Confluence plugin, which is, by the way, um, the most popular plugin on the Atlassian Marketplace for Confluence. And um, you can try it for free. And I'm just going to show you the basic stuff around that. So I'm going to create a new page in, let's assume, this marketing space, just a blank page. And I'm going to call this my first diagram. I assume while creating these videos that you know something about conflicts already. If you don't, you can also tell me and I'll try to, to adapt to this. Um, okay, so my first diagram. And what you basically do is um, you uh, click on the plus icon here and say that you want to install a dry or a diagram. And then you can choose from a variety of templates. Um, you can search for a template, you can limit to business elements, charts, engineering, flow charts, mind maps, mockups, network diagrams, other stuff. Software. Oh, that's that's a lot of stuff that we can uh, go through. Actually, um, let's assume uh, that I want to know. I wanted to do do a plugin for Gmail, and I'm just going to click on this this one. And 
then a browser um, window changes to the draw IO um, section and I have the um, template that I just choose um, on my screen and I can then for example make this bigger or create a new one let's erase that again let's just make this a little bigger um, no okay it doesn't make any sense for me right now but I just wanted to show you that I can move it around oh sorry and um, yeah, as soon as I hit save and exit, I can go then Gmail add on concept. Save. And I'm back in my conference page. And um, uh, there's the diagram. You can save it. Gotta wait a little. And then I'm going to have a page that I can share with my colleagues with my diagrams. Um, you may want to start with these templates and later you, um, there's a good possibility that um, uh, you'll create your own diagrams from scratch. Um, the good thing about Draw.io, um, and as far as I know, I may be wrong, but um, uh, as far as I know, we're um, the plugin that best um, um, supports the versioning, so as soon as I change something in the diagram, um, so let's go, go back to the edit mode, let's change something in the diagram, for example I'm just going to delete the logo here, hit save and exit, and hit save again, so now the logo is away and if I go back to the page history you'll see that I actually have a new version um, and if I look back in the uh, version number one um, you see the one with the logo and if I look at the current version the logo is away and this is something that is very very important if you are in anything that has to do with quality management um, ISO certifications, any type of um, uh, vendor-induced um, uh, quality standard that you want to meet, you will have to prove to the auditor that um, your system is uh, versioned and that you can pull up old versions in the state that they have been in. And um, that's what you can do with trial. So um, this is the first video. I'm going to do way more of these videos. If you have any uh, feedback, any wishes on how this should go, please um, uh, uh, follow a link below and tell me. I'm going to try to make this as user-driven as possible. Um, we'll cover a lot of um, basic stuff, but we'll also cover a lot of uh, new stuff that I'm going to get from um, the JGRF development team, and we're going to cover your um, questions that you tell me, so please keep them coming. Uh, I'm very excited to kicking this off and making you know that Draw.io is the best choice for you if you're looking at diagramming for conference. Thanks. Bye.